Hello everyone, it's Carrie Bradford. In today's Mix and Match tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly combine a bracket with a box to make a really cute tag shape. Now, I am a huge fan of utilizing my resources. To use something from one design to create a new one is genius for me. Why reinvent the wheel? I don't want to do that. So in my Design Secrets class, I had this lesson that was otherwise entitled 101 ways to use a bracket. And if you've taken a class, you know what fun we had with that one little design. So this is just a little variation on that theme. So the first thing that we need to do is find a good bracket. And I wanted one with more of a point on the outer edge. So I went out to defont.com, typed a bracket in the preview box, and started with the list of sans serif fonts that were available. And this is the first one that caught my eye. It was if I click on it and come to the textile, you can see it's called Walk Away Expand. And even though this wasn't quite as pointy as I wanted to, it to be, I still went with it because I kind of wanted to have this nice straight line going this way so that the end result, if you look at the tag down here, we get this lovely looking shape right here. And that's kind of what I was looking at. I, I, I kind of was looking at the overall theme and I'm sure I could probably have found one that was even closer or I could even bring the two points together but in the end it wasn't that big of a deal to me. I was just kind of looking for this nice even bracket. So let's go ahead and make this look cute little tag. I'm going to draw a rectangle and let's make it a three by two. Come over here, put in three and two, and say apply. And now we want to take this bracket, which is incredibly huge right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and just copy it for the moment. So I'll press Control C, Control V, and we're just going to use this, and I'm just going to scale it down here. And let's zoom in. And all we need to do is just place this over the edge of our rectangle. And the more you put it in, the bigger your edge is going to be. So if you want it close and, and not have a great big indentation, then you're going to want to move it, keep it over to the left there. If you want to make it bigger, then you're going to want to pull it this way. And I'm going to maybe just kind of put it somewhere in between. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go to the Replicate tool and Mirror Right. And I'm just using my Shift and Arrow key just to kind of move it over. And I think I like them just about there. And then I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a path. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I can't align this up and down because this is still in a font form. If you notice here, there's a lot of space from the top to the bottom of the box and just a little bit of space here. So if we were to try and align this, let me show you what will happen. Align middle. You can see it does not place it in the middle. We need to turn it to a path so that it will actually just look at that little bracket design in a dot to dot form versus in the font form which carries all of the kerning and the spacing and the ups and the sides and the whatever that goes along with when a font is made. So I'm just going to right click and choose convert to path and now if you see when we select it we have even space top and bottom and I'm so I'll just go ahead and do the same thing to this one as well. Now I'm going to grab all of this and do align middle and I'm going to grab both of those and right click and group them together. And then I'm going to select everything and center it. And so now you can see what this is going to end up doing. It's going to give us this really cute line. Just going to grab them both, come to the modify window, and choose subtract. And then all we have to do is just get rid of those little shapes there. And we are done. Now you can add your title or whatever words you want in there. Um, you could just put a pattern in it or you know print it out on a pad of paper. You could even use it as a label and fold it in half if you wanted. But it was a really cute design. I thought it was going to be a really fun thing to use for the Marion Bright. I thought that was kind of fun for anybody who's doing December Daily or Project Life. You know, you can just add whatever title you have in here and then just cut it out. And when I cut it out, I cut it out once, and it's like, that's really cute. I like it like that. But then I thought, I kind of want to thicken it up. I kind of want to give it more of a chipboard look. So I cut out two more for a total of three pieces of cardstock, 
and it ended up looking like this and it's really cute it's thick and it adds just a little bit more dimension without being too thick on your page or in a page pocket if you're doing project life or december daily so there you go that's just how you can quickly make this darling tag using a bracket and a box thanks for stopping by